Beautiful love. In the year of Mayfly 400, 2020, this is Plymouth Classics back in the Barbican. A historical quarter of Plymouth where classic wooden boats sailed across the world to explore different countries. September 2020, and this is not the Plymouth Classic Boat Rally 2020. Hello, everybody. After a long break, Jamie, yeah. the boats are back. Yay. They've been away for about four or five years, and they're back in Plymouth Barbican, or not in Plymouth Barbican this weekend, with music coming from the quay later on during the weekend. Do you like hat? And it looks really good. <laughs> it's not about your hair, it's about the boats, Jamie, but really good anyway. And she's a folk boat. Yes. Um, she's uh, 57 years old now, so right. she's a bit of an old lady, but I'm trying to keep her going. Yeah. Lots of varnishing. Um, and she's suffered a bit in the, the sun this summer. But, yeah. but we do what we can. It has and, been a hot summer. Oh, it has. <laughs> and it's been a short summer too. Yeah. But it's lovely to be down here in Sutton Harbour again. It really is. It's brilliant. So Good how, fun. Long, how long have you had Tiger? Um, on and off since 1988. Yeah. Sold her and then bought her back again later on. Well, it's great to have the Ridiculous. Oh, it's so lovely. Even if it's just a small gathering, it's just brilliant. Hopefully next year we can have a few more and we can grow it again. Well, I think it needs to build up again. Because it, it does. It can get an international reputation. Yes. And, and yeah. make Plymouth look good. Yeah, and Sutton Harbour is the perfect place. Absolutely. With the old barbecue. Just like being in the yeah. Mediterranean. On it, at the moment it's just lovely. And it's brilliant having the big boats as well. As, you know, some of our little boats. Can we have a look, quick look at Tiger? Yeah, do. Thanks very much. Cheers. How long do you spend on her? Well, um, I'd keep her up at Salt Ash where I live. Yeah. So I'm out, you know, quite often most days and bit often I sleep on board just on the mooring. Yeah. Uh, we haven't been very far this year. Um, and my crew, a girl who crews for me is away at the moment, so yeah. I'm a bit limited. Um, but it's just, it, I mean, I just love her. I go out to her and do jobs and varnish and, you know, part of an old boat is looking after it. Yes. You know, you're the steward of the boat for as long as you have it. Yeah. And you have to keep, keep it up and look after it and it's not just a boat you go sailing in it's a boat you look after a bit like having an old car yeah. you know so yeah i'm very fond of my boat take it out of the water in the winter yes yeah she comes out at salt ash yeah. we do lots of varnishing and things it's big, never, never ending big canvas right cover goes over the top to protect her against the the rain and the frost and the wind so yeah i do do all i can to look after her and uh yeah she's she's survived quite well she's really good yeah, she's lovely. Thanks a lot. Small but perfectly formed. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you again. Thanks for letting me in. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I'll see you again in a minute. Cheers. Bye. Hello, what's your name? Andy. And you own you own Muriel, do you? Yeah, I own Muriel, yes. And how long have you had her? Uh, just over 12 months. Uh, where did you get her from? Uh, Falmouth. She's a Falmouth working boat. Okay, and what's the story behind her? Um, she was built in the 1890s by Peter Ferris in Lou. Yes. Um, as a fan of Key Punt. Um, she went down there servicing the schooners and all that sort of stuff. Um, she then went on to the oyster fisheries down there. Yeah. Um, she's been in a film called Dracula that was filmed in the 70s in Mevagasi. Yeah. Um, she was also on a BBC series called The Wandling Line. Yeah. Um, she stayed in Falmouth for most of her life. Um, been Lou boy myself. I decided that because she was Lou built by Peter Ferris. Yes. Um, that she deserved to go back to Lou. Yes. And what sort of state was she in when you bought her? She was really good, really good condition. Yeah. Strongly built. Um, there was hardly any rot in her. Um, a few repairs that we've done over the, over the winter, Covid's not helped much because uh -huh. we had a big lockdown and couldn't get to her for a couple of months. Probably the best thing to do is get out to look boat in this lockdown, isn't it? That's it, that's it. And, you know, because 
she dried out hellish yeah. you know at the beginning of the lockdown because we had that really hot weather um, she opened up all over the place so we just stuck on the beach down at down at the boat yard yeah let it staunch up for a few weeks uh -huh. um, yeah she's been good as gold have ever you, since have you done any of these boat rallies before no this is my first yeah this is my first well Plymouth is a good one when yeah. it's up and running yeah yeah we had a break for a while but uh, yeah, yeah. it was very vibrant at one stage yeah yeah yeah, yeah. nice to have it coming back to the city again and that's it yeah yeah event. well I've done Lou Lugger again many times yeah um, with Mike Darlington on the Our Daddy with uh, Les Arkel on the Charmaine of Paul. Yeah. Um, done a couple of events with those. Um, just thought, yeah, I'm old enough now. I need something to do myself. <laughs> oh, so don't bring age into anything. It's only yeah, that's yourself. it. That's it. <laughs> Everybody but, keeps on to me about age. Yeah, yeah. But no, she's beautiful boat. Beautiful boat. Really happy with her. Yeah. Um, done a lot of work over. Give her a colour change over the winter. Yeah. Um, it's a vibrant blue, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this winter, planning on getting her back to bare wood, seeing yeah. exactly what the fixings are like, what the wood's the like. You got Primark there as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The same yeah. colours. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, no, she's, you know, I've replaced a lot of the plastic cleats and stuff with stainless, yeah. um, put a new uh, roller and everything up on the bow. Yeah. Uh, we found a bit, of, a bit of rot in in the stem, so we've had that chopped out and replaced and then nice posh polished bit of stainless over the top nice to one. finish it off um yeah she's a lovely boat i mean she's got a hell of a lot of sail, sail area for her yeah she's, she's what 20 25 foot long comes um she's got 600 square foot so yeah um, so you're going back to loo tomorrow are you? no she she's actually on a mooring up at car green yes um so chose car green because it's because i work in plymouth live in cornwall so it's easy to check on her you know in the evenings weekends and stuff i can yeah. do it on the way home from work or on the way to work uh -huh. you know so yeah it's it's nice more in it's out of the weather it's nice and cheap nice and it's still on the cornish side as well yeah well, so, yeah yeah thanks a lot for your time anyway. thank you very much enjoy your trip yeah. The captain has the bait, this tell I shake my head and grin. Rover, rover, the fashion foam. When the wind blows hard, it cuts ya right down to the bone. Rover, rover, across the seas of Rome. Will we ever make love? Will we ever get back to the place that we call home? Uh, 
It's owned by, we've, it's, it's own, it owns itself in a way, it's his, um, owned by, uh, we, we made a community interest company yeah. when we were trying to get the boat restored and as a way of raising money. And what's the name of the boat? She's Lina. Lina, she is the only um, working Tamar barge. Yeah, how old, how old is she? 1896 she was built. Has she been in the classics before? Uh, yes, she has. She has. Wendy had her. Yeah. I think, um, crikey, that was a long time ago, but I remember seeing Lina when she was painted white. Yeah. Um, and the classics was over at Turn Chapel, I think. Yeah. I think that, I saw her there. Oh, right, okay. and that, so, how did you get hold, hold of that? Uh, we were working in Mashford's boatyard and Lina had been in there yeah. for maybe 12 years yeah. in pieces. Yeah. Um, and we tried to put a project on it. Um, it by way of getting a lottery fund. Um, we weren't successful with that and be due to the fact that the yard changed hands and w I got made redundant and um, we made a decision to use our redundancy to get the boat out of the shed yeah. and then we've had some lottery help and some help from Tevi fund to, to continue. And so she has to work to earn a, a keep if you like. Yeah, how long have you had her now? Um, we launched that in 2016, so yeah. this, this would have been our third season yeah. running, so this season has kind of fallen apart how for did, us. How did you get to hear about the classics in Plymouth this year? Uh, we got a phone call saying could we bring the boat in yeah. from... It's not a full event this year is it? No, I think we, we just got a phone call saying that as the liner and anyone else who could come in because it's the 30th anniversary and so on, so we... Uh, yeah, the 30th anniversary of the... Uh, Plymouth Classics, Classics I think. Right, because there's been a break in between recently, haven't there? It's not been happening the last few years, no. No, because I've sure. recorded it in the past. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, I mean, it sort of seemed to be dying a bit of a death before, to be fair, and then, yeah. um, then it didn't happen for whatever reason, but... It's a shame, it's a shame really, because it's a great vibe with the, uh, with the music as well. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it's a fantastic thing, you know, and I think if we can get more interest yeah. from boats to come from outside the Plymouth area, if you like, and come down and visit, yeah. um, you need to have a bit of an event, you need to make it nice, you know, you got. I think you need good hospitality events and, and some good competition, some racing and things, you know. Yeah. And it's also the publicity, because I didn't know about this one this year. We, uh, the publicity for this, I don't know, it was, um, I think, it's, we just got phoned up last week, yeah. do you know what I mean? So it's been, oh, let's do it now. Yeah. Um, so well, for us, it's a good chance. To, obviously, this year's been really, really... Strange for everybody. Really poor. We haven't uh, done any business with the boat. We have been out a few times, but she's, you know, if she doesn't do business, then then she won't be here. <laughs> yeah, OK. So it's great to have the classics back this year. Because uh, yeah. I miss the music and I miss the boats as well. Yeah, yeah, no, the music's good. We're going to... Um, We've got uh, Black Friday, I think, they're coming to play on Sunday yeah. on board. Oh, so it's going to be moored here, is it? She's going to be right there, yeah. Okay, and I'll be recording that all weekend. Hopefully. Excellent. And we've got a circus on, beforehand, there's a circus on board. Yes. Yeah, so um, and then the, the, the band will play after that. That's what I'm talking So that time. should be really good. No, it's Cheers, thank you.
when we need it, aces high. Now we'll run deep in the same song, but we'll try once more.
to everybody and the great people of Plymouth Classics 2020 and in the past. This has been a Summertime TV International Subscribers Production 2020. You got at me at CC's photo one at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. Available for new projects.